It's been just over one week since 18-year-old Tyler Hart died after a car accident in North Macon. Kayla Solomon spoke to Hart's boss and co-workers to find out how they're coming together to help his family. For the last nine months, Tyler Hart worked here at Marco's Pizza. General Manager Crystal Beach says hiring him was a no-brainer. I'm really big on giving people, you know, their first jobs because I feel like your first job sets your work ethic. Crystal Beach manages Marco's Pizza on Riverside Drive. She hired Tyler Hart in July of 2020. and She says he instantly became part of the family. He was just always just really, really respectful and just really funny. A lot of, you know, when we talk about him now, it's just, we always just miss his laugh. The news of Hart's death last week was a shock to them all, including Jaden Martin, who worked closing shifts with the Central High School senior. It definitely rocked all of us. Uh, Tyler was a very essential part of the crew, and I think everybody knew that, and when the news hit us, it, it really, it kind of sucked a lot of the life out of the place, you know? So Beach and the staff decided they will honor their co-worker and friend with an all-day fundraiser, and they'll donate a portion of all the sales to Hart's family. Beach says much like when she first hired Hart, it was an easy decision. As soon as that happened, it was kind of like, it's part of the family. He wasn't an employee, you know, he was... You know, he was like brother to a lot of my staff. You know, we always we're with each other all the time. Martin says it will be all hands on deck to help with orders on the day of the fundraiser. If you want to support the family in any way, um, you can start by simply, you know, buying a pizza and it's as simple as that. Beach says the fundraiser will be all day on Tuesday from the time they open at 11 a.m. until closing time at 10 p.m. Reporting in Macon, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. Beach says along with the fundraiser, there will also be a balloon release outside of the business. That's happening tomorrow at 3 p.m.